Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 the Game of Thrones mod, playing as Daemon Blackfire of the Blackfire Rebellion. Uh, last time we left off at the siege, or sorry, the battle outside the gates of siege, uh, King's Landing, which then uh, sort of transitioned now into a siege of King's Landing. I do think we're going to lift the siege, however, and uh, take our armies out to hunt the enemy's enemy armies. The thing about this war is that we are outmatched to begin with, but our, our strongest army is sort of gathered. We are all gathered in one place while the enemy armies are split up. And the threat is that the enemy armies have time to, um, uh, to sort of uh, band together and form a single cohesive powerful army able to actually, you know, contest our might here. Let's see here. So we got the Tyrell army coming in. And the Targaryen army uh, of Lord Robert is um, locked into Great Fork. So let's unpause and see if we can't actually catch out the Tyrell army here. Only river crossing, no less. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Oh, never mind. Not, not the river crossing, but we got the, the army at least. King Daemon uh, of the Blackfire Host has begun studying the ancient generals. The Valyrian Freehold and the conquest of the Giscari Empire. So Giscar, I believe, is somewhere up here. If I'm not incorrect, this up here. Um, I believe this might be it. The Soros is like the heart of the Giscari Empire. I'm not sure though. Let's, or let's pause again. The battle is still going. Okay, cool. We have barely lost anything, and we have completely annihilated. Well, we uh, we um, killed off half of the Tyrell army here, half of Leo Tyrell's army, and we do have uh, Lord John of Old Town. Oh, cool. So let's see, who's this? Uh, John or John Hightower, I guess. Then seems like an amazing character. All right, let's see. So the uh, Targaryen army slipped away and went up. Uh, went up uh, into... Uh, towards the Riverlands. They might have slipped away here, because I don't think this is the entire thing. Prince Makar is there. But the king is still in King's Landing, and sieging that down is going to take a long time. A possible strategy is to just bum rush uh, King's Landing and try to siege that down in order to capture King Daeron. But uh, that's not a guarantee, he can still escape. So we could take hostages, which could help us uh, negotiate a peace. Oh! Alright, so we got um, the army of Sir Artis uh, of the Vale, Vale of Arryn. That's where the, um, uh, the Eyrie stands where Bronn in the t television show had that fam famous uh, trial by combat. Lord Hermond Arion of the Stormlands has been excommunicated. What? Why? I'm guessing it's because the Septon has allied with the king, and uh, this is a purely political maneuver. Might also be the fact that he is uh, lustful and he uh, hedonistic, but... Yeah, Arion Baratheon. Because he hasn't taken a stance in this war. He's he's remained neutral. I wonder if... Um, I can lift the excommunication. No, I cannot. Because the, uh, the High Septon does not respect me enough. Because I believe he has sided with the king. Oh, we've lost a lot of troops. Uh, oh no, we haven't. Sorry, that was just me selecting there. Uh, when you select your your army, your your um, 
only showing your troops and not the actual full extent of the army, uh, including allied troops. Oh, and who is this? The Torrent Peak army. Lord Aegon of Torrent Peak. That's a good name. And he's got a bunch of different uh, lords here. Lord uh, of Craycall, Bard's Home, Steadfast, Dark Dell, Sweet Sister, Stoneway, and Cockleswind. And the Lord of Hi uh, Hightower here is losing in King's Landing, it seems. It's close, but he is losing, even with the... Uh... Oh, so they landed troops with an amphibious landing, apparently. And chased him out of King's Landing. Some sort of, uh, like, some uh, Battle of the Blackwater type stuff going on here. So they landed troops on the beaches and then marched them up towards the gate where the army was laying siege. And then our army, you know, came back. A smuggler brought food into the Red Keep, so yeah, we're not gonna start sieging that yet. And now here's uh, Dorn. Dornish men have landed as well. A lot of uh, troops seem to be uh, be shipped off um, or shipped up the coast with uh, ships here. What army have we not crushed yet? We've crushed the Tyrells. We've crushed the. Um, Oh, House Arryn. We've crushed the Dornishmen, and we've crushed the Lannisters. So I think we've crushed all of the loyalist, uh, like main armies, except for well, we did actually crush the um, the uh, king king's army as well. Though some of his troops still remain. Some of those uh, uh, pop-ups are going to keep happening. Okay, so the campaign has been easy picking. Swinging sword through the forest, uh, swinging my sword through the forest is a pleasure, and my fellow soldiers are equally jovial, surrounded by the blood of our Stormlander enemies and the cries of battle. Look, enemy commander Sir Podrick is hiding. Podrick Trent. Um, someone suddenly shouts, pointing off in the distance. So I can run off and fight Sir Podrick Trent. It wouldn't be much of a fight considering he's in prison, would it? He's not a great fighter. I'll... I mean, I'll do it. And he runs away. Gives us morale. Your enemy, Lord Paramount Donald Arryn, has been slain. Oh, so... The Lord of the Vale got, just got killed in battle by... Aegon of Torrent Peak. And that's during the same battle. Nice. So now Dennis of the Vale... Uh, rules instead. 18-year-old. Was he, uh, let's see, what's his family relation to that guy who just killed, uh, got killed? That is, so that's his son. Well, let's, uh, I don't think we'll, we're going to be able to pick, uh, like, uh, cut off this army here. In five days, and we are going to arrive in, no, we actually are. So, traveling into the mountains of the Am Amberley here is taking a while. Or the hills, sorry. So we can actually cut them off and, and sort of... Yeah, we, we completely destroyed all of the Dornishmen here now. So let's... Uh, we won't be able to take out the Wendwater troops here. So we're, we're just gonna go back to King's Landing, lay siege. And oh, my half-sister is... Is not doing too well. She's depressed. She's got the flu. Oh yeah, so she's the one who's uh, married to the Prince of Dorne. I will call for a physician at once. Whose court is she at? If I can call for a physician. Surely she should be at her husband's court. King Damon Blackfire, I see just cause in your struggle against your enemies. I will take up arms beside you. Arena of Ashmark. 
so we've got some Lannister or Westerlands uh, troops now. I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna sort of who are waiting on the sidelines are gonna join in once they see the, the way the war is going. This is perhaps my least favorite uh, song on the soundtrack. It's also a little bit loud. Let's see if my uh, audio settings uh, stayed or st stuck here. Let's see. Yeah, they did, but. Let's see if we can do some. Um... Actually, no, if you turn down the music here, it's gonna turn off. Oh, well, that probably works. It's not that I hate the song, it's just uh, kind of um, uh, very very in your face. It's not very um, very subtle. Right, it's a siege, which means we play the waiting game. Oh, he's leading troops now. In Edgerton. Break the siege. If we can capture him in battle, we can end the, the war right here and now without actually having to lay any sieges or uh, without having to lose any troops to, well, to a costly siege or further battles. We can essentially save a lot of lives by just uh, grabbing him. A lot of lives on all sides. But where is he? Oh, he's over there now. He's moving to the to King's Landing now, so we're gonna move there as well. Actually, where is he? I'm not seeing the icon for uh, for the king here. It does say he's in Hayford, but it doesn't look like it. Bertrand Redtusk is not married. I'll find him someone nice. Let's see. Who are we going to marry off to? Bertrand Redtusk, not our daughters, I don't think. Actually, we could. Though I might want to save them for more, um, more important alliances with the major houses. He's gonna want one who's young so that he can have children. Cause he's, he's young as well. Not someone with gonorrhea. I don't think that's a good idea. Let's uh, let's marry him to Shara Mouton of the Riverlands. Okay, so we defeated the army. Oh, never mind. He's so he's in this army. I think he must be the one we're about to defeat now. I think, yeah, he's gonna get away. Yep, and now he's back in King's Landing, but he did get wounded in the battle, it seems, or is that just because he contributed to the battle? Yeah, it's just because he, uh, he fought in the battle. And now he's, uh, he's leading again in Byford. Okay, then. He's just shifting around. That's kind of uh, one of the, like, minor complaints I might have with CK2, is that you can sort of teleport your ruler around. Like, if your army is about to get hit, you can just, you know, pop off your ruler and put him somewhere else. Yeah, he's back in King's Landing now. My son, King's A uh, Prince Aegon, will have the highest education. And Aemon will have... Uh, he'll have decent... Poor, or not, yeah, he'll, he'll have decent education. I'm going to go into the red here, but... 
Um, that's going to tick back up again. And also we're going to potentially loot King's Landing. The Veil is still... Uh, they're going to get uh, taken out there. The Veil, Veil is crossing a major river. They're crossing the... Um, the God's River, so... So that's going to be fine. We don't need to help them. Let's continue the siege. We're currently sieging the Dragon Gate, I believe. Or are we... No, we're actually... I think we're sieging the Red Keep. Yeah, we're sieging the Red Keep itself. So, yeah, the way the, the mod creators have set this up is... Uh, the Red Keep is the main... Um, or the primary keep, and then you have all of the gates as keeps of their own. The problem with that is that I don't think it's technically possible to approach the Red Keep from land without going through the other gates and going through the city itself. Otherwise, that would be kind of a, a silly way to structure your defenses. You wouldn't have, like, you wouldn't have nested defenses. But oh well, um, it's better for us, at least. And yeah, we are looting the, uh, the uh, Red Keep, or it has been looted. Aegon Blackfire, you will have a martial education. His stats are going to be incredible. I, I'm going to be very upset if he dies of whatever this is. Our maester is kind of bad. I want to look into Daemon's Dragon Dreams. And we didn't find anything. Fuck, okay. Oh. Firing Cross. They're gonna handle the battle. I want to, want to join though, just to maybe capture him, but... Um, we're sieging King's Landing, so... And we're halfway through. We need to commit to the siege. This is gonna go our way anyways. Alright, he's still leading those troops. That, that's, yeah, that's a weird thing. He just teleported out of King's Landing, away from me, and into the, the army. So... A rather heated discussion between myself and the Stable Master caught Sir Bertrand's attention, and after listening to us both, he settled the matter between me and the Stable Master in a fair way. I got the horse, and the Stable Master got the coin. Yes, Bertrand, Red Tusk is uh, just, and so am I. And that makes us good friends. Sir Aubrey Ambrose has expressed a desire to get married. I will find you someone nice. He's 36 years old, so... I mean, he, regardless, he's gonna want someone young because he wants to have children. Rosamond, uh, Vickery. Alton the Holy Fool. Oh yeah, he's the, he's the guy who wanted to um, uh, sail west past Lonely Light. What else is going on over here? Odello of Mir. See if there are any like unique named uh, people here. I borrow Bravo. Yeah, I, I highly doubt it. I think most of the focus in this time period is on Westeros. Okay, so Your Grace, we've rounded up everybody we could find at the Red Keep. What should we do with them? Okay, so we can choose to only clasp the king in chains, or clasp literally everyone in chains, or let's see, we have. My aunt, Elena. When is Rivers? Shira uh, Seastar. Who... I think... I would like to marry. Miria of the Iron Throne. From Dawn Martell. A Scepter Reina of the Iron Throne, also my family. King Daron and... Maya Rivers. 
Let's imprison him only. And that brings us to the conclusion of the war. The war for the Iron Throne is over, and force demands. King Daemon the Bastard has usurped the title of Lordship of King's Landing from Daeron the Good. She receives Sarah's arrival to court, Scepter Reign of Targaryen, and Maya Rivers. I've taken a lot of titles from him. After seizing the Seven Kingdoms of the Iron Throne, you have also captured the treasury of Lord Daeron Targaryen. So we got a lot of stuff. A lot of the dragon skulls down in the uh, in the crypts or down the the, uh, the dungeons of the Red Keep. Get some books, and we get uh, some thrones. Oh, sorry, some uh, crowns. And there we go. Damon and Blackfire. Damon the Bastard. Which crown should we wear? Crown of Arryn, Crown of the Rock. Storm Crown, Crown of Winter. That's Stark. Aegon the Fourth. Aegon the Third. Guess we're gonna wear the egg on the fourth crown. All right, so can we can't marry multiple wives? Can we? Even though we're Targaryen, no, because we are a we are faith of the seven. I think if we were Valor, uh, or some sort of Valyrian religion like Aegon uh, the Conqueror, then we could. In which case, I know this is a terrible thing to do, because I believe these people love each other. But speci uh, specifically, because I want to get the Targaryen stuff rolling, I'm gonna do... Wait, can, can I not arrange a divorce? Might be over here now. I, yeah, we, we need to get, um, we need to get on this guy's good side. We need to get in his good graces. We need 17 plus, so that's not too bad. We don't have a lot of money, though, so we can't send a gift, because we need 15 gold. See if we can give him an artifact. Uh, who are the Roinar? I believe that might be uh, the Dornish. Let's give him. Let's give him the history of the Dornish Wars. For fifteen opinion, that's not enough. We we need more. Let's wait and see if we get some more from this. Uh, okay, so my courtier Daron, uh, or sorry, that is my brother. Who is my rival, and he is a threat to me. I will have him executed. I think. Yeah. I will have him executed. Uh, wait, Quentin Fireball is my man. Uh, this is wrong. I think this is a bug because, um... Uh, because he was assigned to the King's Guard and then the game... You know, when you take over the Iron Throne, you sort of... Are meant to pass judgment on the King's Guard. Uh, let's leave him be. Aloran Keltigar. Crabs, okay. Uh, Westeros Valyrian. Don't know uh, who that house is. But I don't see any... Any of our enemies here. So I will leave him be. Uh, Brynden Bloodraven. Now that's an interesting character. 
is a green uh, green seer, a crow. Or he has a crow that follows him. Uh, so he, I believe, canonically, either takes the black or gets banished to the wall. Let's, uh, let's leave him be. He doesn't hate us. And Jeffrey the Never Yield of Norcross. He does have family. Let's see who is he his liege? His liege is Imre of Norcross. And it doesn't seem like he took up arms against us. At least he doesn't have any qualms with us, so we will leave him be. Willem Wilde. Title claimants. Oh, that's of Lord Casper, sorry. Uh, this guy doesn't seem like he's... Um, no, he's deceitful, but he doesn't hate us or anything, so let's... Um, actually... Let's uh, take him off the King's Guard. Tom and Costain. He seems like a cool dude. Leave him be. Ail in the Pale Griffin. He's got cancer. He's of House Connington. He's not gonna last long, I don't think. I mean, he might, but like for a, f a few years, but I'll, I'll leave him be. And Mehron of Dorne. You will be... He, he did rebel against me. And I do need the fear to uh, to keep myself uh, aloft here. Fear is a mechanic in this mod that isn't in base uh, CK2, where if uh, if you have enough fear, uh, your uh, your vassals will actually be less likely to plot and rebel against you. You can actually rule by fear and not just by being loved. I I think he is a traitor. He needs to be sent to the dungeon. Lord Paramount, Daemon of the Westlands, he's a traitor, he needs to be sent to the dungeon. Pierce of Strongsong. He did take up arms. But I will take you hostage. Edmund of the Trident. He did take up arms, but I will actually take you hostage uh, of him. Mark of Windwater. Hostage. His father took up arms against me. He did not. We'll take a hostage. Humphrey of Fang Tower. Don't know who you are. War enemy. Send him to the dungeon. Leo the Longthorn. We fought him uh, a lot. He has gonorrhea. He might not survive for long. Do we like each other? Leave him be. Harold of Newkeep. Dungeon. Uh, Peregrine Gallows Grey. Dungeon. Garth of Ocean Road. Garth Oakarch. Uh, he is below Leo Longthorn, so leave him be. Right, there we go. I sort of expected that to happen. Some of the people we tried to imprison have rebelled against us. Which means we get to still keep our event spawn troops here. And we're going to fight a, a like another war. And after this one... They have betrayed me twice. 
and I will not be so merciful. But we're going to uh, we're going to handle that next episode. Thank you for watching. This has been Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.